What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you about SoFi. I want to talk about the data behind the scenes, what is actually telling us, where we might be going, and also the big news going around SoFi right now. Before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. With that though, let's get right to it. So live ticker is going at the very bottom, currently down 0.16%, 16.4 million for volume, 45 is the average, and 2.4 million shares being purchased by institutions on the secondary market so definitely today is going to be a very heavy volume day but I want to talk on the big news that came out and right now it is still up for debate because we all know August the 31st is the official deadline for Biden and the administration to make an actual decision on the student debt so a lot of people are really waiting on edge for SoFi based on that news and hypothetically right now the estimate is going to be that they're going to be canceling ten thousand dollars in debt as long as they don't make more than 125000 as of right now, which generally speaking is and was the estimate uh, that we all knew for the last little bit. They do talk on additional forgiveness to uh, select individuals and things like that. But again, this is a little bit more concrete information. So hopefully if this does end up panning out, that's going to be a lot sooner than a lot of us expected. So that's something that we can definitely all rally behind because I personally feel that a lot of us are all waiting and a lot of institutions in fact are buying behind the like I mentioned as well on the secondary market, a lot of institutions are buying. But more specifically, looking here, this is all the transactions being done so far within the first hour and a half of the trading day done on the dark pool. So pretty substantial purchasing in my opinion two cents and my own opinion. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor either, so do your own due diligence at the end of the day. In addition to that, more stuff that is happening behind the scenes is there is a ton of call options being purchased. So they are definitely rallying behind the recent news because it is just a matter of time before that news does come out officially, then we just go up uh, based on that. So I think a lot of investors are preparing for a very big SoFi rally. The only ones that are trying to suppress SoFi right now is shorts and I've really been bringing them up over the last little bit using them as a benchmark oddly enough even though we're very much green right now and we're red kind of mixed today they're increasing 1.27 percent today 1.54 million shares being additionally shorted despite cost of borrow actually going down so the cost of borrow average is 1.72 so they hands down are trying to suppress SoFi. So hopefully it doesn't work out in their favor. And so basically outside of that though, there's a lot of big buying happening behind the scenes, a lot of anticipation that we are going to go on a massive rally. Like I said, this is why I like to look at the data behind the scenes and what is actually suppressing SoFi. But one thing that I personally always really like to watch for is looking at the articles. You kind of have to get a good sentiment on what the articles are ultimately saying. And this article just recently came out and it is ultimately one of the best topics for reasons this banking stock is a screaming buy right now. Not just a regular buy, but a screaming buy. So it talks on four different points, but at the end of the day, I don't necessarily need to go through this article with you. I think it's just the more sentiment about that. So typically when you see a lot more bullish articles coming out, that definitely shows that there is something in the water with SoFi. Versus when there's bearish articles, clearly the sentiment is a little bit more negative. So clearly there is a huge value when it comes down to SoFi. And just for argument's I'm just going to quickly go over this. So SoFi is its own bank. So it definitely talks on that. We already know that's a huge benefit. SoFi owns its own credit risk evaluation service. So that does also go hand in hand in why we have such quality customers. And I've been really stressing that over the last couple of videos that SoFi has very good quality customers. Also, SoFi is uh, behind the scenes giant. So obviously with the two acquisitions that they do have and its losses probably aren't permanent, especially with a lot of developments that SoFi has been doing. They've been spending a lot of additional costs and that does eventually hurt their earnings per share. But that is a short term pain. Again, when it comes down to SoFi, it is a very long term investment. That is where you're going to make a lot of big money. I did do a video as far as price predictions, starting with the tail end of 2020. 22 all the way to 2025 and you will be very pleasantly surprised because there's going to be a lot of big things especially with all the fear around the market right now about the feds increasing uh, rates potentially to four and a half percent that is going to help SoFi significantly um, so again you just need to take a step back realize that this is a long-term investment and you're going to make a lot of big money 
like I've been saying, Q1 or possibly Q2 in 2023, if they do follow on the same path and trajectory that they're on, they might be actually be debt free, which is mind blowing or making this they should have added that part into this article making it a screaming buy. So that's my own two cents on all of that just wanted to quickly pop over and let you know exactly what is happening with SoFi. I'm just going to quickly go back here and go over some technical analysis because you guys know I absolutely love that looking here still a little bit more of a bearish sentiment right now. So stochastic still has that red line above the black so a little bit more of a bearish sentiment momentum number of buyers is definitely just going down. So a lot of fear out in the market right now. So this is why a lot of retail investors get burned uh, a little bit more in the short term because they listen to a lot of the fear and the FUD that is out there. But like I already just showed you, a lot of big money is buying behind the scenes and anticipating a huge rally. So Definitely retail investors need to watch that. And this is why I'm a very big fan of watching exactly what is happening behind the scenes and what institutions are doing. But again, I could be completely wrong at the end of the day. RSI is also at 40, so fairly neutral. And on the actual chart, we are going to most likely either today, if not tomorrow, test that 50 day moving average once again. So depending on the news that does come out, like I've said in my update video uh, on the weekend, there is going to be some pivotal events coming up that could cause so to go up significantly and that is occurring on Thursday and Friday starting with GDP numbers moving on to PCE and then Powell is actually talking as well on Friday so that could be the nice momentum that SoFi needs to get out of this and going back to that seven eight dollar range in reality I still feel that we can easily attain twelve dollars if not more by the end of the year which is a pretty good return on investment for the last four months of the year but let me know your thoughts on all that in the comments below if you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated and if you do like my channel and support the growth take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen with that i appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on sofi